Now we can get to this week's edition of Ask Ellen. Ellen, this one is in the news a lot these days as these products become more and more common. Do data centers that run AI impact the environment? Yes, they do, ah. and, and in a few ways. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and get to it. AI, really interesting. Remember, they run off of these data centers. We have a data center right here in West Michigan. When you're using something like ChatGPT, which uses AI to generate information, a typical ChatGPT search uses 10 times the energy of a Google search, wow. which is massive. So in addition to the energy demand, which is pretty massive, these data centers also require lots and lots of very clean water. Data centers running with computer energy, that gets hot. So you need that clean, cold water to roll through some of these computer systems in order to cool it down. Technicians say the water must be absolutely pristine, drinkable level quality in order for it to work. Otherwise, some of the machinery could actually begin to corrode. So a lot of these data centers are pulling from municipal water, mm -hmm. some of that clean water that usually goes to residents. Mm -hmm. Very interesting stuff. And 20 well, there are only 500,000 data centers in the world only. Now, in 2025, it's grown to 8 million, wow. which is incredible. So there have been some talks about regulation underway on a global scale. Uh, definitely still the first stages. These are really complex systems. So to decide on AI regulation and how to report it, that's going to take a lot of discussion. There's also been a lot of improvement in AI, AI optimized optimization, which means that AI is just getting better at working. So it's doing more with less. It's doing better uh, performance-wise with less energy. Now, the last thing I want to bring up is it's not just consumption. AI is also giving back. Mm. There are a lot of ways it's making a lot of things more efficient. For example, one study says that an AI-run home uses 40% less carbon. Farmers are using AI like crazy to optimize how much water they're using, how much insecticide and fungicide. So AI could actually improve a lot of things, including how many clouds airplanes produce. You really had, interesting stuff. You had to muddy the waters with that last slide. I know, I'm sorry. I'm like, <laughs> bad, bad, wait. bad. Still good. There's much more, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, thanks, Ellen. Yeah.